Hello again. In this session, we'll look at um, more about XML data type that SQL provides us. So to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple table over here and I'm going to call this as uh, some random name. Um, let's see, let's call this as sales data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have the data type as XML. And let me just call this as XML sample, just to be you know, very simple. So let's see, now I just refresh the tables, I should find Yep, over here. This should be empty right now. And let me just put in some data so that we have something to work with. Um, let's see. And let me just type XML sample. Let's take from W3 schools. Let's see what we have. Um, okay, let's just copy this. This is not sales data, but we just need some data to play with. So I am going to write a query actually. I'm going to say insert into XML sample sales data values. Let's see if this works. Okay, so we have inserted one row which is basically an XML data. If I select that, you see that you, you get the data as a hyperlink. And if you click that, you get a nicely formatted XML chunk over here. And this is pretty much the same data which you entered right now. So let's look at some uh, you know basic operations that you know, we can do using XML data type. So what I'm going to do is First, I'm going to show you how to represent um, any any two-dimensional data into an XML data. So let us choose some table. We've been working with, I think, sales territory a lot. So let us just select the top thousand rows. When you select this, you find that you know it's it's in the typical two-dimensional format. It has uh, you know a number of columns, number of rows, and it's pretty much um, what you do in your day-to-day -day activities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but basically just retrieve the data in an XML format. So I'm going to say select star from this, and I'm going to use the for XML auto. So there are like many types that you can use. You can use a raw XML, you can use a auto XML, etc. Right? It basically depends on what kind of output you need. So, you know, if you need just as row numbers or, you know, as rows, you can get it in a different format. Auto basically puts it into nicely formatted tags for you. So it totally depends on uh, what kind of output you need. I would suggest just reading these four types up in MSD and that should give you a good idea. But for now, let's just use XML auto. I'm going to say elements and my root tag should be sales territory. So if I execute this, you see that you get a you know, sort of a hyperlink and when I click on that, it's basically the two dimensional data which I just showed you that has been nicely formatted into an XML, um, into XML tags and that's what you see over here. And this is the root tag that we just defined. So as I said, you know, the, there are many types you can use XML raw, XML auto, etc. So totally depends on what kind of output you need. Um, it's it's there are ways also in which you can query an XML, and you can use like X query in your in your expressions or in your queries, and you know get get to the required result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select. Uh, I think we call this as sales data. So I'm going to say select sales data, and then there is a function called query. So there are, I think, three or four functions, like uh, you have a function called query, you have a function called value, if you just need the value, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Let's just look at them one by one. And uh, let me just select the top thousand rows so that I know what I'm going to retrieve. So let us retrieve this, this value. So let me just modify this query. 
so I'm giving the path as node slash two. So just to navigate over here, so it should be node slash two. And I'm going to call this as something like two, just a alias name from XML sample. And I got to make sure that I'm using the correct database. Let's see if this works. So you see that, you know, we navigated to the data which we need using the X query. But again, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's in the same XML format. At times we might just need the value. So for which there is another function. Uh, let's just look at that. So I'm going to say select sales data. It's, it's the same, same query, but instead of the query function, I'm going to use the value function. And it basically needs two parameters. The first parameter being the X query. So it's again the same thing. So I just need to use the same X query. And get me the first value. And next I need to give the data type. And again, the other things remain the same from the table name. So let's try executing this. So now you see that, you know, it's no longer in an XML format, but you see that it's just the same value which is like given to the output. So um, I also showed you that, you know, how can you select a value from a table and uh, put it in an XML format. So just a variation would be something like, let me just copy paste this one. But you know, I'm going to just have some variation. I'm going to just say select top 10. And I'm going to say the territory ID from blah, 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 this one, and let's see. So you see that, you know, it has just created an XML for you with the territory ID tags. So um, if you need the other way around, that is if you have an XML file or XML data and you just need to um, basically display it in a two-dimensional format, um, there is a way to do that also. So um, what I'm going to do is, let's just take some huge data. Let's take the same example, but you know, something to play around. So we have this data and for doing so is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable called XML handle. I'll just get to this in a minute. And I'm going to let this be of type integer. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable called XML document and that's going to be of type XML. So this XML document would be the same one that we just uh, executed in the query. So let this be this one. And just to make sure that whatever we have done so far is correct, I'm going to just select XML document. So, so far it, it looks good. Second thing is you need to call a function called spxml prepare document and um, let's let's just call that. It's basically an inbuilt function. And the XML handle that we just declared and I'm just passing that as an output. And finally our XML document. So this is pretty much a standard procedure of doing that. You know, it might it seem a little bit complicated now, but you know, this is pretty much a standard procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select star from, and I'm going to use the open XML and it requires a couple of parameters. So I'm going to pass in first XML handle. Second is basically, you know, the X query that we need. So here only thing to note that is that, you know, it's case sensitive. So you just need to make sure that, you know, you're, you're handling those things correctly. I'm going to pass in sales territory slash, let's see what all we had. Sales territory slash, okay, let's get over here. 
up to two levels and what i need is basically the territory id and also okay that should be an int so i need the sales ytd of type money and for now i think that should be it also to just free up resources there is one more stored procedure it's called sp underscore xml underscore remove document and you pass in the xml handle so let's try executing this did i let's see oops i think this is yeah it's prepare document and not prepare underscore document let's try that again so we didn't get any values so let's see what mistake have we done so sales territory okay let's see if that was the issue because i know it is case sensitive so okay so we did get some value so it's it's pretty much the same procedure that you know you'll have to use and then the only variation would be how you form this xquery so that's the only tricky part you'll have to take care but the remaining things are pretty standard thank you